Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. So last week, we discussed the idea of surrender. We allowed ourselves to let go of the need to control and go with the universal flow. And I thought a good follow-up topic from that would be for us to discuss trust. Because I believe the degree to which you trust yourself affects the degree to which you can surrender. And I will be discussing two areas Trusting in yourself and trusting in the universe. So, let's dig in. Believe it or not, many of us don't actually trust ourselves. And maybe this comes from years of social conditioning or years of hearing messages like we are not good enough or we don't have what it takes. And this may have somehow affected the way that we look at ourselves. Because maybe as you grew up, you may have been told by a guardian or a parent that you're a disappointment, that you bring more sadness than you do joy. You may have been told by a teacher in school that other people were better than you. You may have made mistakes of your own that left you wondering if you had pure intentions or if you really had what it takes to succeed. And all of these things, they affect the way in which we view ourselves and how much we believe in what we can do. But I'm here to tell you today that you are not broken. You don't need to be fixed. There is nothing wrong with you. You just need to show up from the very core of your being and that's all you can ever do really. And so if you made mistakes in the past and you're still pondering over that, just let it go. Because what, what else do you want to do? Stay stuck? in the things that you did before or decide today that I'm not going to let that hold me down anymore. I'm not going to let that take over anymore. I'm just going to let it go and start afresh because you can. And if other people told you that you were not good enough or that you didn't have what it takes, you also just need to drop that because people can say things maybe from how they were feeling in the moment, or they have their own issues you never know, but you can't go on following what somebody else said about you, especially things that don't serve you at all. So let's commit to letting go of the past. Let's commit to leaving anything behind that doesn't serve us, whether it's comments from other people or comments from ourselves, and let's, in each moment, start afresh knowing that we can do it. And to trust in yourself, in, the, in what I'm talking about today, means to believe in what you can do and to believe in who you are. Have you ever met people who are so good at something, very talented in a particular area, but they themselves don't know it or they can't see it? And no matter how much you tell them how good they are, they just don't show up with that energy of being good because they don't see it for themselves. Believe in yourself, believe in what you can offer, believe that what you have is valuable, not only to you, but to those around you. And once you start doing that, the energy with which you show up to situations, to events, the way in which you show up for yourself changes because now you carry an energy of being able to, an energy of knowing that I can, a confidence about you that I'm good at this thing. And also when you know who you are and you trust yourself, you know your boundaries. You know what you're good at and you know what you're not good at. So when things are coming your way, you can say, mm, that doesn't feel like me. I'm not going to, be, to bother myself with that. And other opportunities come, then you say, yes, that's more in alignment with who I am. So you're not just going with the wind doing every single thing that's thrown your way, you actually intend and know that I am more about this and you go in that direction. So root for yourself, please, for the love of God, for the love of everything holy, trust in your own self. Believe that you matter and that you have value and show up with that energy and see how it changes the way that you do things. So trusting in the universe. Many of us 
think we trust in the universe, but we really don't. Why do I say that? Sometimes you say a prayer or you intend something or you ask the divine for help. Then you say, I'm going to leave it in your hands. I'm not going to think about it anymore. I trust that it will be taken care of. And then you get back home and as you lay on your bed before you go to sleep, you are just worried sick about this issue and you can't stop thinking about what will happen, what else can I do, you feel anxious, you're edgy because you don't fully trust. And I'm not condemning anyone because I myself do it. I've had times where I say I'm trusting and I'm letting it go, but then I find myself worrying about it over and over and over again. And I have to either remind myself or be reminded by a friend that, hey, you talked about trusting. I think you need to take your own advice at this moment. And this happened to me as I was transitioning to doing this work that I'm offering to you now. I had the push. You know when you have the push from the universe to do something? And I started to feel it and I knew I could do it, but I didn't trust that I would be taken care of. I was worried about how I was going to survive. And so this made me want to hold on to all the things I had before, the job I was doing before. I, I just didn't want to let it go because I was concerned about how I would pay my bills. I was concerned about how I would practically be surviving. But it was all about trust, I realized. And as I was asking for advice from my guides, from my friends on what to do, all the time the answer was, you have to learn to trust because you can't know how everything is going to unfold from here. You know you have this call, you're feeling drawn to this area, everything about you is pushing you in that direction. You're the only one who's holding yourself back because you're not trusting in the universe enough to be able to let it take you where, where you need to go. And then one day I just said, you know what, they're right. I'm, I'm, I'm terrified, I'm afraid to let go but I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give everything that I have, I'm going to lay it out and just trust that it will take me somewhere good. I don't know if it will, I believe that it will, but I'm not sure. I will just let it, lay it all down and let's see what happens. And the minute I did that for myself, one, I was so relieved, like, just felt like I was just letting down this heavy load I've been carrying. And then the universe surprised me because from that moment, things that were just taking me further and further in the direction I was going, they just started to show up. People, situations, circumstances, events, they all just started to come into my path, allowing me to just go from step to step in the direction of this healing work. And so I know now from that experience that the universe is really on our side. And then I started to look back and ponder on this idea because we come from something bigger, you know, which means that we are coming from love and the universe has unconditional love for us. And if something loves you unconditionally, it means that it wants the best for you. So every single thing that it's doing is to bring you to your best self or to bring you solutions that, are, that serve your highest good. And if we can just trust in that, if we can just allow that in our lives, then we will see that our lives really shift for the better because we are understanding where we are coming from and that love will never, ever, ever let us go. It will always hold us through difficult situations, through good ones, every single moment, bad or good, it's always going to carry us through. But another thing that you have to realize is that the universe transcends rationality. It transcends logic. And so as you learn to trust the universe, you have to let go of mind control. Because as human beings, we love things that are logical and rational. And all of this has its place. It's there for a reason. But when the universe is working, it goes beyond that. So when you are inquiring for your life, from your intuition, from your spirit guides, from the divine, most of the things that you will hear, they won't make sense because you cannot connect the dots. You just can't see how the universe wants you to go from A to B. It doesn't always show you the how because that's its job. It always takes care of the how. It just tells you, 
quit your job, go to the left, move to this city, get together with this person, and then if you trust that, then all these things unfold. The universe also works in synchronicities, what we may call coincidences. I don't really believe in coincidences per se. I believe more that things are synchronized, meaning the universe is working and bringing all of these situations to us to meet our needs or to bring us solutions to the, the questions that we had. So, for example, you could be looking for a new job and you put out the intention that that's what you want to do. And then you're on your flight somewhere and you happen to just sit next to somebody who is an HR manager for a particular company. They are friendly, you're friendly, you get to talk in and tell them I'm looking for a job. They say, hey, maybe you can send me your CV. Then you do that and the next thing you're working for this company. That's not a coincidence. That's a synchronicity. That's the universe bringing you solutions in the form of meeting someone unexpectedly who brings you what you need. And time and again, the universe works in this way. So maybe you can take a look at your last week or last month or the past year and just see the things that you may call a coincidence and how they helped you or how they brought you to where you are now and see that the universe was taking care of you all of this time and maybe this can help you to trust more as you go into the future to know that it has your back you will always be taken care of no matter what thank you for watching today I hope that this video will help you, one, to embrace yourself the way that you are and to believe that you are valuable and that what you have to say matters to you and to those around you. And two, to do your part and then let the rest go to the universe, trusting that it will take care of you, to know that you don't have to know the how. That's the job of the universe. It will bring to you everything that you need. Have a beautiful week, everybody. See you in the comments. And I hope that by the end of this week, you'll be trusting more. Namaste. Oh, look out for some guided meditations that I'm going to put after this vlog to help you to relax more and to trust. Bye, everybody.